Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. First, the headlines. <laughs> NMDPRA and IPPG close ranks for smooth implementation of PIA. NCDMB lords Temai and Hyundai deal to build new LPG vessel. Oil industry players seek special forex window for modular refineries operators. And now, the news in detail. <laughs> The chief executive of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, NMDPRA, Engineer Farouk Ahmed, has revealed that the agency will work closely with the Independent Petroleum Producers Group, IPPG, towards the smooth implementation of the Petroleum Industry Act, PIA, and growth of Nigeria's midstream and downstream sector. According to Ahmed, the industry was at a critical phase with the ongoing reforms and it was impacted for a deeper and progressive level of collaboration between NMDPRA and IPPG for the growth of the industry. IPPG remains a critical industry stakeholder which the NMDPRA is ready to closely work with in addressing challenges impeding industry growth and the development. Ahmed said this in his opening remarks during a courtesy visit to the NMDPRA office in Abuja by a delegation of the IPPG. The the IPPG delegation, led by its chairman, Abdul Razak Isa, thanked the NMDPRA chief executive for hosting them and pledged the group's support towards the authority's mandate of realizing the growth and development of the midstream and downstream sector of the Nigerian oil and gas industry. The IPPG's chairman presentation focused on the evolving industry landscape, ongoing industry reforms, IPPG's member participation in gas processing and refinery operations operations and the role indigenous exploration and production companies can play in this new era in guaranteeing the nation's energy security. <laughs> The Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, NCDMB, on Wednesday commended Temau Development Company, an indigenous shipping company, for signing a contract agreement with Hyundai Mipo Dockyard HMD for the construction of a new 23,000 cubic meters liquefied petroleum gas carrier vessel. The indigenous company also signed a separate agreement with NSML, an integrated maritime services subsidiary of Nigeria LA. NG Limited for the construction supervision of the vessel. The LPG carrier is the second that is being constructed by the Temau Development Company and is sequel to the first vessel which was constructed in 2018 and is currently chartered to Nigeria LNG Limited for domestic LPG supply. The new 23,000 cubic LPG carrier to be constructed is a high-end specification vessel that has been designed by NSML in accordance with bespoke requirements using HMD's highly efficient eco design. Wabute indicated that the agreement signing event and subsequent construction and supervision of the contract align with the board's strategic plan of maximizing the potentials in the midstream and downstream sectors of the Nigerian oil and gas industry, especially as the oil and gas industry strives to actualize the decade of gas policy of the federal government. He stated further that the project will bring in valuable local content opportunities in technology and innovation, human capital development and research. Oil and gas industry players in the country have requested the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to create a unique window for modular refineries operators to enable them access foreign exchange and facilitate seamless operations. The stakeholders also called on the authorities to initiate action to address the nagging issue of irregular supply of feedstocks to the modular refineries, which they lamented is hampering the smooth operations of the plants. The demands were contained in a communique released at the just concluded Nigerian Content Midstream and Downstream Oil and Gas Summit organized by the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, NCDMB. The document was read by the manager of Corporate Communications, NCDMB, Mr. Esueme Kikile. Industry operators called on the federal government to divest from the petroleum depots and address the dysfunction of Nigerian pipeline infrastructure. Participants also 
also requested that the NCDMB should consult more with midstream and downstream stakeholders to co-produce solutions to the peculiar challenges confronting the sector. <laughs> South Sudan's National Revenue Authority, NRA, has launched a five-year strategic resources mobilization plan to reduce overdependence on oil revenue. Currently, 90% of South Sudan's national budget is financed by resources generated from oil revenue. Speaking to journalists during the launch in Juba on Wednesday, the Commissioner for the National Revenue Authority, Dr. Patrick Mugoya, stated that the five-year plan will focus on reducing the 90% dependency on oil revenue for the national budget to 50%. The initiative for attaining this noble goal, which implies a reduction of the current 90% oil revenue dependency of the national government's budget to 50%, is the focus of the strategic plan which has been discussed today, Dr. Mogoya said, appealing to relevant bodies to cooperate with the NRA in implementing the new policy. <music> Serbia has reached an agreement to store up to 500,000 million cubic meters of natural gas in Hungarian facilities, Serbian Finance Minister Sinisa Mali has disclosed. The storage will be fueled by the end of June and Serbia will be allowed to draw up to 3 million cubic meters of gas per day in October 2022 and March 2023, as well as up to 6 million cubic meters per day in the period between November 2022 and February 2023, Mali further disclosed. Under the current contract with Russia's Gazprom, Serbia pays $270 per 1,000 cubic meters of gas, which expires by the end of May The Central Bank of Nigeria has attributed a drop in Nigeria's external reserves to the high cost of imported refined petroleum products. This was revealed in the Monetary Policy Meeting communique posted on the CBN's website. The CBN's Monetary Policy Committee unanimously voted to raise the benchmark interest rate to 13% to contain inflation and strengthen the Naira. Gross external reserves declined moderately to $38.36 billion as of May. 19, 2022 from $39.28 billion at the end of March 2022. This was attributed to the weak accretion to the reserves from exports and the high cost of importation of refined petroleum products, the Apex Bank stated. <laughs>
Before we end the news, here's a recap of our headlines. NMDPRA and IPPG close ranks for smooth implementation of PIA, NCDMB, Lord Stemai and Hyundai deal to build new LPG vessel. Oil industry players seek special forex window for modular refineries operators. And that's the news. I am Naomi Oleribe. Good evening. <laughs>